Hey guys, this is Bhavin here from All About Technologies and today I'm going to show you one hassle-free solution to manage all your photos on the go, the new Google Photos app. This is the screen which you will see when you first start the application. Hit on Get Started. When you first enter the app, you'll have the option to choose how do you like to sync your photos. Select your preferred option and hit continue. Next you have the option to choose if you want to backup in high resolution or original resolution. High resolution will compress your photos and will give you unlimited storage on the cloud. If you want you can backup at original resolution which is limited to 15 GBs of storage on the cloud. After selecting your preferred option hit continue. Moving ahead the user interface which you are greeted with is pretty clean and easy to use. When you swipe right, there is this assistant tab which acts as the notification tab for the application. You can change the layout of the application just by using pinch to zoom gestures. Here you can see the year view in which the application groups the photos according to the years in which they were taken. You can also change the layout by clicking on the three dots in the top right corner and selecting the preferred view. Selecting multiple photos is as easy as it looks. You just need to tap and select one photo and drag over the other photos to select or deselect them. You also have the option to recover the deleted photos instantly if you delete any photo accidentally. If you have a huge library and want to find a specific photo, that's when the search feature kicks in. Just click on the search option in the lower right corner and type whatever you're looking for. Say for example photos of bikes. It will display all the photos which Google thinks has bikes in them. The Google Photos application is also available on iOS devices with similar functionality including all the view and the gesture controls. The search option also groups similar photos in a specific folder automatically. In this case, the mountains folder has been created with the photos and videos of mountain in it. Google Photos also has something called types. The Google Drive type shows all the photos and videos which are on my Google Drive. The videos type is where all the videos on my phone reside. The next type is the collections type which is very interesting in my opinion. As you can see here, I have taken multiple photos in burst mode and Google smartly analyzes my photos and creates a GIF automatically that can be saved to the photo library. How awesome is that? The app also shows what modification it has done to your photos so that you can understand. As you can see here in the GIF, it shows animated and in this photo, Google automatically applies the best filter to my photos and shows effects written on top of it so that I can understand. That's also a nice little touch in my opinion. So guys, this was a short overview of the new photos app. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button below and also comment your views below. For more information, visit our website aatechnology.in and also make sure to follow us on all the social media to stay updated. The links for all of the which will be given in the description below.